Welcome back everyone. Till this point we have tried to secure our application with the help of Spring Security. And then to achieve that we have created multiple configuration in fact we have done with this class where we are saying hey you have to verify from the database with the help of this class here. And then we have also changed the password encoder from no op password encoder to bcrypt so that we want to store our password in a secure way. That's done right. But if you see the output which you used to get, so if you go to that localhost part, so if you type localhost colon 8080, you can see we got this login page. The amazing thing is we have not created this page. This page is given by Spring Framework. Now of course, right, if Spring is giving you something, it will give you something very simple. You can see this page is damn simple, but can we customize it? Unfortunately, I don't know the way to customize this. There might be another way, but what if you get the option of creating your own form? Of course, right, when you have your own form, you can have extra features. You can add anything you want, right? You can change the color scheme as well. So what if we can create our own login and logout page? So what I will do is I will just go back to my application and before the video itself, I have added two pages here. One is login and second logout. Now you might be thinking it, it will be a very complex page. Don't worry, I just kept it as simple as possible. You can see this is a very common page, very simple page here, which has a form tag, which is calling login. And then we got username and password, two fields, just it, both are input field. And then there's a button, that's it, nothing complex here. There's one line which I've given here. Again, we'll talk about this later. As of now, there's some spring security uh, message there. That's simple, right? The logout page is a page, let's say after logging out, you want to show some page that you have successfully logged out and then you will also give an option of calling the home page. Okay, that's a very simple page which I have created. But then will this work? Of course not, right? When you run this application, by default, Spring will have its own login form. So we have to inform Spring Framework, hey, I don't want you to give me a login page. I want to have my own login page. How do we customize that? In order to achieve it, let's go to app security config. This is where you have to create a method where you can specify all this configuration. Let's do that quickly. Now, instead of creating that method by yourself, you can actually override it. So there's already a method which is there inside web security config adapter. So let's override that method. So I will go to source and I will say override a method. And the method name here is configure, which takes HTTP security as the parameter. Let's click on OK. And you can see we got this method. As of now, this is only calling super. We don't want to call super config. I want to have my own configuration. In order to achieve that, we can simply use this object which is HTTP and then we can set multiple properties here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to disable CSRF which is cross site reference. And we can simply say CRF dot disabled. That's one thing. Now we have to mention that we want to go for a login page. So we can simply say dot here and we'll say form login. Now when you really want to have your own form, you simply have to say form login in which you have to specify the properties. Now of course, right, you have not mentioned what is your login page name. That's very important. So we can simply say login page and here you have to mention your login page. In fact, you don't have to mention the login page. We have to mention the request type or request name. In fact, we are working with Spring, right? So Spring will have its own MVC. So you have to mention whenever I want to log in, I can simply call slash login which will call a controller which will handle the login page. Okay, so we have to say login dot permit all because I want to call this page. We have to also mention what happens when you say logout. We have to also work for logout. So we can simply say here logout because we want to achieve logout as well. So I can say logout dot, there's a method which is invalidate HTTP session. I know if you're coming from background of, you know, working with uh, servlet JSP, everything has to be done manually, right? So here we don't have to worry about that. We simply have to say invited session, everything will be taken care by Spring Framework or Spring Security. And then we have to also clear all the authentication. Yes, we'll simply say true. Once you're logged out, of course you have to clear everything. And then what is a request type? So let's say, uh, when do you say a person is want to log out? Maybe it is slash log out, it is slash out or slash get out, anything can be done, right? So we can simply say log out request matcher. So on which request you want to do that? So we can simply say and path matcher. And in this you can specify the URL. So I want to say, I want to log out when I say log out. That's it. You can give any URL here. It actually doesn't matter. And we have to say one more important thing. What after you say logout? So you have to call some pages after logout. So I can say 
Uh, whenever I call a logout, so we'll say logout successful. Okay, something went wrong here. Oh, okay, so we have request matcher. My bad. Let's call this class. And here I will say logout success URL. Okay, now which URL I want to call? So let's say time when I will say logout success. That's it. So it will call logout success. Or you can also call home page. That's your choice. And I will say permit all. That's it. This is the thing you have to enter here. So we got a login page, we got logout page, and we are doing it here. But will this work? Of course not, right? When you say you are calling a login and logout, you have to also change something in the home control, right? Because we want to handle the login logout. So here we have to add those two methods. So I will say public string, and I will say uh, login page. Okay, so we'll simply say login page, and it will return in double quotes. We'll simply return login that's a login page we have so we already have a login page here and then we just have to add a request matcher for this method this particular method here and here i will say login simple and then we also have to work with logout success because we have to call the logout page i will simply copy this since i'm lazy i will say this is for logout of course so i will say logout hyphen success and here i will say uh, logout page and then i want to call the logout page here so i will say logout that's it simple page i think it will work now everything looks cool let's relaunch the application okay the moment i say i can't say any error we got error it says permit only works with http authorized request oh we have to do that as well so let's go back here and i guess we have to add one more so i have to say dot authorize request dot and matcher i will say whenever i call login it should allow that let's try with this permit all and now since form login is different so we'll simply say and there because i want to specify more properties there okay so it's working there's no error let's go back to our page i will say refresh and we got an error it says circular path we are not able to find login oh we have to mention the page right so i have to say login.jsp and here as well i have to say logout.jsp so you have to mention the extension as well let's relaunch it and now let's go back here i will say http colon 8080 enter and you can see it says welcome aliens that's bad i guess the maybe we have to also say any request has to be authenticated because we have not mentioned that so let me just do that once again i will say localhost colon 8080 and now you can see that we got a login page this is our customized login page which we have and now i will say naveen and a b c d when i click on submit you can see we got welcome aliens it's that simple but we don't have the logout there so we wanted logout as well so when you say logout, I just want to change one page. In fact, uh, where the page we have, it says home.jsp. Let's also have the logout button here. So I will simply say button here will say ahref or a link. We can say slash logout. So whenever I say logout, it should logout. That's it. Normally we should be using some CSS of some format, but as of now it should work. Everything done. Let's go back here, refresh. And now if you can see, if I say Naveen and ABCD, if I click on submit, you can see it calls the page and when I click on logout, everything is logged out. You can see we got logout home. In fact, even if you go back, you will not see the same page. In fact, you will get login page. That's awesome. Now, if Fortify enters some wrong username password, when you click on submit, you can see we got bad credentials. You got this text here because in the login page, this is what you have written, right? You say it's Spring Security Last Exception. This is responsible to print that message, bad credentials. That's the only importance of this line. So that's about this video where we have tried to work with login, our own login page and logout page. The only thing you have to do is you have to add these two pages. Plus you have to go to app security. You have to override this method, which has all these properties. Nothing much, everything will work. In fact, yeah, we have one more thing. We have added two more methods here. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for, for the video.